This exercise covers how to create a head and tail of a pipe with an Aviva E3D 2.1. From the Model Explorer, add equipment C1101 and E1301 to the 3D view. Navigate to the Zone, Zone Piping Area 01 in the Model Explorer. Click the Create, Create Pipe button to display the Pipe Editor Create Pipe form. In the Pipe Name text box, enter 200-B-4. Select Process System B for the primary system. A filter can be applied for the specification or the results can be limited by entering text, in this case A3. Select the A3B specification from the filtered results. Select the bore to be 200mm. Add a temperature value of 50 degrees C. Click the Apply button. Pipe 200-B-4 has been created in the Model Explorer. From the Branch Head tab, click the Pick Connection button and indicate C1101 in the 3D view. Clicking the Equipment rather than the Nozzle will populate the list of connections on the form. Select N3 from the list and with the Create Head Components checkbox unchecked, Click the Connect to Selected button. The head is connected to the nozzle and the tail position is offset 1000mm away. From the Branch Tail tab, click the Pick Connection button and indicate the nozzle in the 3D view. Clicking the nozzle in the 3D view will connect the head or tail to it automatically. Add Equipment P1502B to the 3D view. Repeat the previous steps to create pipe 150-A-57. In the pipe name text box, enter 150-A-57. Select Process System A for the primary system. Filter the specification list and select A1A. Set the bore to be 150mm. Set the insulation to be 50mm fiberglass. Enter a temperature value of 50 degrees C. Click the Apply button to create pipe 150-A-57 in the Model Explorer. The pipe head is positioned explicitly. Select a connection of open end and set a direction of west by clicking the Reverse Direction button. Enter a head position of west 303,000, north 308,530, and up 104,965. Because these are manual inputs, the Apply button must be clicked. From the Branch Tail tab, click the Pick Connection button and indicate P1502B in the 3D view. Note that the nozzle could have been indicated directly. From the list of connections, select N1 and click the Connect to Selected button. The tail is connected to P1502B slash N1. Save work. This video covers the piping component editor form within Aviva E3D 2.1. Add pipe 200-B-4 and connected equipment to the 3D view.
the flanges and gaskets need to be added to head and tail of the pipe. Note, when creating components at the head or tail of a branch, the branch must be the current element. Indicate the pipe in the 3D view. This will navigate to the branch level in the Model Explorer. Click the Create, Create Component button to display the piping component editor form. Click the flange from the standard component section of the form. Select the weld neck flange, S-type of WN. With the Width Flow button selected and the Auto Create checkbox checked, click the Connect button to create the flange and gasket. Use the Component Sequence list to navigate to the branch level. Click the Against Flow button, the component pointer moves to the tail position. Click the Connect button to create the flange and gasket at the tail. Use the Component Sequence list to navigate to flange 1 at the head of the branch. Click the elbow from the Standard Components section. With the default S-type of EL90 set, click the With Flow button followed by the Connect button to create the elbow. The second elbow of the same S-type can be created by clicking the Connect button again. Navigate to flange 2 at the tail of the branch. Click the Against Flow button. With the S-Type EL90 selected, click the Connect button to create the elbow at the tail. Perform a save work. This video covers modifying piping components within Aviva E3D 2.1. With pipe 200-B-4 in the 3D view, click elbow 1. Click the Modify, Modify Component button to display the piping component editor form. Ensure Forwards mode is in operation and click the D-axis on the Direction tool. Select the downstream elbow from the component sequence list. Click the Connect to Previous button. Click the Next Component button from the Position Through section. Click the Direction to Next button from the Orientation section. Select the Downstream Elbow from the Component Sequence list. Click the Direct Selection Component button. Perform a Save Work.